In this video, we'll teach you how to create Halloween videos in Filmora. Hey everyone, welcome to the Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Here we teach you editing tricks, filmmaking, and camera techniques. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell to get updates on our new videos. Before we start editing, click the download link in the description box, click on the free download option. Now a Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just double click on it, agree with the terms, and here you go! Filmora started to download and install. Once it's installed, it'll start and run automatically. First, download these amazing packs from Filmstock. Import background images or videos. Drop the background image on the timeline. Double click on it and set the image to fill the screen. Then go to the color. Click on Advance and choose something bluish color and increase saturation and contrast. Go to Animation, change the opacity to 0 at the start. Then set the opacity to 100 at 5 frames further and increase the scale by 6% at the end. Drop the creepy doll image on track 2. Increase its scale to 230%. Set the position on the Y axis and change the blending mode to Color Dodge. Set opacity to 70%. Split the doll clip at any point. Then split again 2 frames further. Again, split it after 2 frames. Then delete the extra part and the middle part. Copy these two split parts and paste it further. Then go to the titles under film stock. Drop the horror story title 3 on track 3. Split it at 5 seconds. And double click on it and remove text. Now go to the elements. Drop the cinematic horror element 2 on track 4. Double click on it and change blending mode to screen. Increase scale a bit and adjust its position. Now go to the effects film stock, apply horror pack overlay 3 on track 5, and change its opacity to 30%. Now apply Halloween overlay 3 on track 6 to add a bit of screen dust or to give an old film effect. Then go to the titles and drop the default title on the timeline. Double click on it and choose nightmare font. Enter your first words by mixing small and caps letters. Open Advanced Panel, adjust word position, add another text layer, type your word, reduce its size, and increase text spacing by 3. Then change fill to gradient fill and choose the color according to your choice. Do the same with the second word. Turn on shadow effect. Change the distance to 2, do the same with the second word. Bring the default title to blank space and take a snapshot. Delete from the timeline, and drop the snapshot on track 7. Double click on it, go to the animation, reduce the opacity to 0 at the 5th frame, change the opacity to 100%, scale to 95% at 7 frames further, change scale to 90% at the end. Next, apply sideways 2 effect on the snapshot, double click on the snapshot, go to effect setting, and change frequency to 50 and X value to 0.02. .02. Now split the snapshot at 1 second and 5th frame, then split it after 15 frames. Do the same another 3 seconds and split it for 10 frames. Go to Effect, Film Stock, Glitch Folder. Apply Glitch Stripe 1, Glitch Stripe 2, and Glitch Block 2 on both split parts of the snapshot. Double click on the split part and in Glitch Stripe 1, change frequency to 1, amount to 1, Strength to 1, and Direction to 1. Do the same with second split part. Now drop the snapshot on track 8. Increase the scale to 240%. Change the blending mode to Color Dodge, and Opacity to 55%. Move it towards the left side, split it, and then change X and Y axis towards the lower right side, and split it again after 3 frames. Again, split it after 2 frames and delete the extra part and then split it further. Change the opacity to 100 and blending mode to normal. Now copy these three blocks and paste them onto track 2. Then go to the elements and apply Shatter Glass Element 2 on track 8. Change blending mode to Color Dodge and increase its scale and move it towards the right side of the screen. Go to the effects. Search for Hefe effect and apply it on track 10. Then search for Auto Enhance and apply it on track 11. Search for Sharp and apply it on track 12. 
change the opacity to 20%, then search for Lomo and apply it on track 13. Then go to the default and apply cinematic bars on track 14. Double click on it and change bar heights to 0.10. Click on render preview to see the final preview. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up. Plus, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon, but don't leave without sharing this video and leave your comment below. Bye!